Hey guys, if you've been following the news, then you've probably heard about the GM and Allison split. Now this is impacting the 2500 and 3500 HD trucks with the 10L1000 transmission, the 10 speed transmission that gives me this badge right here on my truck. Now this split does not impact the six speed Allison transmission, the one that really is made by Allison that's found in the medium duty trucks and paired to the Duramax. This only impacts us in the three quarter ton and one ton trucks, whether we have the Duramax or the gas engine. And so no longer in 2026, we will no longer find this badge on our trucks. Now, I will admit that I'm a little late to the party on this news, but I've had a, a fair number of you asking for my take on it, especially since I own a 2024 GMC Sierra 2500 HD with the L8T gas engine and the 10L1000 Allison transmission. So in this video, I'm going to hit the key points. We'll look at the history, why the badge is coming off, and the strange reality of why it was there in the first place. And honestly, guys, spoiler alert, but I've owned this truck for over two years now, and I really like the 10-speed transmission. And so by the end of the video, I'm going to explain why I really don't care what badge they glue to the side of the truck. Okay, so with that, to understand why this split is happening, we have to look at how we got here, right? And a lot of people don't realize that for the majority of the 20th century, Allison Transmission wasn't just a, a partner with GM. They were actually owned by General Motors. Believe it or not, GM bought Allison all the way back in 1929. And you know, that vertical integration was GM's secret weapon. When the Duramax launched back in the early 2000s, it was paired with the Allison 1000, that was a five speed. And it crushed the competition because it was basically a, a medium duty commercial transmission that was you know, stuffed into a, a pickup truck. And so it built a reputation for being bulletproof. Well, then the year 2007 came, the Great Recession, which as you know, it had a, a heavy impact on automakers. GM was facing financial pressure. And so GM sold Allison Transmission to private equity firms. At that point, Allison became a, an independent company and GM was just a, a customer. You know, they kept buying transmissions from Allison for years, but the relationship had changed. Fast forward to the year 2020, GM launches the new T1 platform trucks and the new 10-speed transmission, the 10L1000. It was paired first just with the Duramax diesel and not the, the gasser at this point. And this is where things got complicated. You know, unlike the old five speeds and the six speed transmissions that were actually built by Allison in Indianapolis, this new 10 speed was actually built by GM in Toledo, Ohio. So why do 2024 trucks like mine right here have a badge, an Allison transmission badge, even though Allison didn't actually make the transmission, right? And this is where the licensing deal comes into play. Essentially, GM pays Allison a licensing fee, a royalty fee, in order to put the Allison transmission badge on their trucks. And this brings me to the point that I mentioned in the intro, the strangest detail of this whole saga. You know, why would Allison agree to this, right? I mean, if they didn't build it, why would they risk their legendary reputation on a product that they didn't control. And you know, the truth is we don't have all the details of the, the licensing or the, the royalty agreement, you know, concerning what Allison actually validated on the, the 10L1000. But I mean, just for a moment, imagine being an executive within Allison. Uh, you're not just gonna loan your brand out and let just anyone stamp it on their product. So clearly some kind of validation did occur. You know, perhaps the, the 10L1000 had to go through durability tests that, that Allison controlled. I mean, we just don't know the, the full details of such. So why would GM and Allison form this so-called licensing partnership in the first place, right? Well, one possibility is that it was a, a marketing bridge, essentially. Remember in 2020, GM needed to prove this new 10-speed transmission was, was tough. 
And the, the Allison name, it does that instantly. You know, furthermore, you think about GM's Duramax owners, they were acclimated to seeing the Allison transmission badge. It had been there for years. And so it'd be kind of a, a big deal to go away from Allison and introduce this new 10-speed transmission without that, that badge that everyone was accustomed to. And at the same time, if you think about it from Allison's standpoint, this whole agreement, it's kind of like, you know, uh, free money. You know, it's getting royalties without having to build factories or buy tooling to make the, the new 10-speed transmission. But now that marketing bridge is essentially being dismantled. Reports have already been confirmed that at the end of this year, on December 31st, 2025, all the GM HD trucks coming out of the factory will no longer have this badge on it right here with the Allison transmission. In fact, all the existing trucks that are already built and are already for sale on dealer lots, if they do not sell by June 2026, next year, dealers will actually have to take off that badge with the Allison transmission and put something else in place of it. So why the split? Well, let's separate fact from fiction. The fact is the, the contract is up, period. I mean, neither side renewed it, essentially. I cannot find any evidence out there to suggest that Allison retracted their agreement or canceled it in any way. Rather, what I do find is that neither side, Allison or GM, neither of them could reach an agreement to extend it, to renew it, essentially. I mean, imagine being a fly on the wall in that meeting or those meetings, multiple of them perhaps, and you've got all of the, the GM leadership on one side of the table and all the Allison leadership on the other side of the table. And they're trying to negotiate back and forth. Maybe GM is trying to lower that royalty rate. Maybe Allison is trying to increase the royalty amount. Maybe they kind of want some hazard pay added into the mix. And yet both sides cannot reach an agreement there. And so essentially the partnership, the licensing agreement is dissolved. And this is where I'll interject my opinion on the matter, but it would at least seem like one possibility is, and this is from GM's standpoint, that GM doesn't need the, the training wheels, so to speak, anymore. You know, the, the 10L1000 transmission, it's been out for five years on the, the Duramax. And so why keep paying millions potentially in royalties to Allison for a name when, you know, arguably the, the Duramax is strong enough to, to stand on its own, right? And then as far as the, the gas, the L80 that I've got right here, you know, the 10L1000, it's been on it for over two years. And, and really the customer feedback has been mostly positive on it. And so in a way we could say that the, the 10L1000, GM's HD 10-speed transmission, it's proven itself. And so perhaps dropping the licensing deal with Allison is a cost-saving measure. Again, that's one possibility on it, at least. Another possibility is the reliability angle. It's kind of the, <laughs> the elephant in the room, so to speak. In fact, I, I did another entire video on it recently, and that is the valve body issues that have you know, seemingly plagued the 10-speed, or at least that's what the algorithm leads us to believe, right? Is it overhyped? Is it exaggerated? Well, I discussed all of that in great detail on my previous video, so check it out if you haven't already. But regardless of whether the, the valve body issues are overhyped or actual reality, another possible angle here is that, you know, Allison looked at everything taking place and they said, you know, hey, we're, we're apprehensive of our name associated with these recalls and all the, the negative clamor surrounding the, the valve body stuff. And so we kind of want a, a hazard pay of sorts added into the royalty moving forward to mitigate that risk. Because again, it's Allison's brand name and they're not just going to loan it out to anyone and let anyone do whatever they want with them. It's their brand and they want to uphold it as a legendary transmission brand. And again, guys, I wanna be really clear in stating that is speculation on my part, but that is another possibility. I mean, the fact is we don't know for sure all of the, the details that took place in these negotiations, but at face value, it looks like it was a, a mutual expiration, meaning that 
GM and Allison could not reach an agreement to extend it or renew it. Now let's bring this back to us as actual truck owners. If you have a 2024 like myself or a 2025 with the gas LAT, then you've got the 10 speed Allison transmission. But in about a month come 2026, that badge will no longer be on the new trucks. Of course, GM can't come back and take that badge off of our trucks that we already own. So that really only applies to the new trucks. But does that make a difference to us as existing truck owners, or even if you're a prospective buyer looking at GM trucks and you've heard about this news and you're wondering, well, you know, should I still go out and buy a GM truck? And you know, guys, just to be completely candid, at first when I heard about this news, I was kind of disappointed because even though when I bought the truck back in late 2023, I knew that Allison didn't actually, you know, make 100% of the transmission because reports had already been flying around, you know, in the media at that point. But my impression was at least that Allison was far more involved, at least in the design and the engineering, as opposed to, you know, more of a, a mere licensing deal, right? But at the same time, I've been daily driving this truck for over two years. I've been towing with it. And I got to say, I really like the 10 speed transmission. The shift logic is smooth. You know, it keeps the, the bands right in the sweet spot for the L8T to have optimal power. And I haven't had any hiccups whatsoever with the 10 speed transmission. I really like it. And I hope that pattern continues into the future. And so whether it says Allison on the badge or I don't know, another label like Hydromatic HD, I mean, what do you guys think? Drop a comment below on what you think GM should name the transmission, help them out, right? But I mean, regardless of what the, the new badge is on the 2026 trucks here, the actual hardware is likely going to be the, the same, right? And I think that's what really matters. Sure, the transmission, it's not perfect, and it seems like there are a you know small percent of owners that are plagued by the notorious valve body issue. But in the end, I think GM, and without going into all the details about the, the GM Ford joint venture, you know, they designed a, a solid transmission here. So in the end, this separation of sorts between GM and Allison, it appears to be mutual. And it could be largely financial. It doesn't change the fact that the 10L1000 is a, a solid heavy duty powertrain, whether it's in the, the diesel or the gas. But what do you guys think? I mean, does the Allison badge hold that much weight for you, especially since the 10L1000 has been out for about five years, at least on the Duramax? I mean, if you were in the market for a, a new truck in 2026, would you be less likely to buy that GM truck because it's missing the Allison badge. Well, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Remember to keep it respectful and constructive. As always, thanks for watching.